Our next experiment is called traveling water. Yes, our previous experiment was rising water and now it is traveling water. So for this experiment you will need two paper cups, a plate. The use of this plate is to prevent your work area from becoming dirty. You will also need a thread. You can cut the thread for the desirable length. And finally, you will need colored water. In this case, I am using green again. You can use any color that you wish. So shall we get started? I will first begin by pouring the colored water into one cup. You only need to fill half the cup. Do not pour too much or your experiment may not work. So I have one cup that is filled with half of colored water and our other cup will be empty. So what I am going to do is I am going to transfer the water from one cup to another without actually pouring the water. So I am going to use this thread. So watch carefully what I am doing. I am going to dip this thread into the colored water. Dip it well the whole length should get submerged inside and after taking it out do not squeeze out the water because we need it to be wet. So now that you have done this step let us move on to the next step. We are going to place one end of this thread inside the cup that has water and the other end inside the cup that is empty. Note that the one end of the thread that is inside the cup of water should be dipped in the water. It should be half submerged. Now place the cups at this angle and just slant it slowly. And observe what happens. If you observe, yes, the water follows the path of the thread and gets filled in the other cup but you need to do this slowly to prevent it from spilling. So if you look at the other cup you can see our colored water getting filled. So how did this happen? Any idea? In science, we have a principle called cohesion. Cohesion is the force that attracts two molecules of the same kind. In this case, it is the water molecule. Now, water molecules tend to stick to each other. And since our thread is already immersed in the water, there are water molecules on the thread already. So, when it comes in contact with the glass that has the water, these molecules tend to stick to the water molecules that are on the thread and get transferred into the next cup. It looks like magic, isn't it? But now you know the principle. It is cohesion. 